the question, the next question, let's place this piece of solution. Solution. The first question is talking about sex. There are 30 students. 30 students represent what? That is that the universal sex. Our universal sex here is 30. In the class, we say study good work, number of good work. Let good work be not real. Number of good work, 15. Number of good work, 15. 13 study metal work. Number of metal work. Number of metal work, we have how many? We have 13. And we were told that the six study neither of the two subjects, that is, we have two that they are jobless. So, I mean, we have six that are jobless, that is, uh, we are talking about, if you like, you can see, uh, metal wall, intersection, wood wall, confidence. We are not doing the college, that's not what they are saying. Now the question has said, how many students study woodwork or not metal work? That is, how many students study only the was only the woodwork? Number of woodwork, I said uh, woodwork intersection, metal work of the mix. Now, two ways. I can decide to use the diagram to express this. If I want to use my grid diagram to express this, I can draw something like this. If I have wood work, if I have metal work, wood work, that's W. Metal work, that is L. Now, for the wood work, we are told that they are 15. But unfortunately, we don't know the number of students that are doing both. We can declare that one to be S. So that means meta work, meta minus S. So the wood work will be 15 minus S, while meta work will be test S. The jobless ones, those ones that they are not doing anything, those ones will be 6, while our universal is 30. Now, the question says we should find only those people doing the wood work. We want to find this side, but we can never get this side until we get our X. How can we get our X? As usual, we know that we need to sum up everything equals to the universal set. Because of time, we go to 15 minus X plus X plus 13 minus X plus 6 equals to 30. This one we cancel this one, so we have 15 plus 13, that's 28. 28 plus 6 is what? What's 28 plus 6? That should be uh, 34. 34 minus x equals to 30. If you collect your license, x equals to that side, I have 34 minus 30 equals to x, x equals to 4. But well, nobody asks us to find X. Our mission is to find the what? The wood wall. But the X we help us. So now, since we have known our X as 4, so those ones that study only the wood wall will now be what? Wood wall will be uh, 15 minus X. 15 minus X. And what's our X for? That is 15 minus 4 and the answer is 11. So the number of good work only is what? Number of good work only is 11. Mm -hmm. So we have settled question 1 from your practice question. So let me mark that one. So whenever you see something like that, don't miss your opportunity. I can go to question number 2. Now I want to go to question number 2. The question number two is talking about uh, a situation whereby we compare the sign for sign together, equating them together. Remember when I was teaching you on that, the distance on that trigonometry, 
I told you that whenever you have questions like this, you need to know that our, our, our cosine is a complementary of sine. When I say complementary, the one that complement it will make it 90. If my if I have 40, the complementary angle of 40 is 50. Because 50 will be added up to 40 to give me 90. Telling you that sine 30 is the same thing as cos 60. So in that sense now, so bringing out this question number two, say that the cos x plus 14 degree equals sine 4x plus 6. Since you have known that, that this we need to sum up this now. Let's start now to, like I've said, complementing that like this angle plus this angle is equal to 90. So let's bring the two angles that we have x plus 14 plus 4x plus 6 equals to 90. The rule told us that uh, when we should sum up the two angles equals to that they are complementing equals to 90. Now 4x plus 4x, that is 5x plus 20 equals to 90. 5x equals to 90 minus 20. 5x equals to 70. The Bible said by the coefficient of x, which is 5, so x equals to 70 over 5. And x equals to what? 14. That is x equals to 14 degrees. Out of your practice questions, two questions out. Two questions out. Number three. Number three question is under sector. And the question says the angle of a sector of a circle of radius 3.4 centimeter is 115 degrees. Given, you write, you interpret. Given our angle, the theta, is 115 degrees. The radius is 3.4 centimeters. Um, to, the pi is 22 over 7. And the area is what? Uh, the formula for area of sector say area equals to theta over 360 times pi r squared. Next, we have area equals 115 over 360 times 32 over 7 times 3.4 squared. If you have a calculator or whatever device you have that you can use to calculate, help us to start working on 115 times 32 times 3.4 times 3.4. What do you have? 29,000. 246. 2.8. 2.8 divided by 360 times 7. 2.5. Now divide this thing and give me the answer finally. 6.6. According to you, right? Yes, sir. You said 11.6, that is centimeters squared. So that is the area of circle, and we said to question number three. We are moving forward. Practice question number four. I can roll this side, right? All right, number four. The question was talking about John. You can put your name here if your name is special. John was facing south 35 degree east. So let's draw south 35 degree east. Let's draw 
Our cardinal point north, east, west, and south. The statement said south 35 degrees east. South 35 degrees east. That is, journey should start from south and we count 35. Less I'm counting, and this is my 35. This is what we call south 35 degrees east. Are you there with me now? Yes. They now said something. If the guy, this John, if he turned 90 degrees anti clockwise, you know our clock, the movement of clock is clockwise. One, two, three. Now and clockwise means backwardly. 90. That is, look at this value you have here. Add 90 to it backwardly. What are we going to get? Now, let's work it out together and let's have it to be. Thank God from the 90 of this section, we are taking 35. Remove 35 from the 90 here. What do you have left here? We have what? We have what? From 55, 55. We have 55. Here, right? Remaining. Now, and we are going to 90. 90 minus 55. What do you need? 35. 35. We need 35 more. So this place should be 35. So if this place is not 35, what will not be the bearing? What will not be the bearing? You know, this is the old 90 we are talking about. So what will not be the what will not be the bearing? So the remove 35 from 90, what do you have here? 55. So the answer, the answer is not. The answer is not 55 degrees is. Very simple, why question. And I'm going to the last one. I want to roll up in my ball. I thank you. For number five. For number five, if a number is chosen randomly from a set. We have a Alright, thank you. Number five. We have a set that says S is such that Alright, thank you. S is such that 4 is less than or equals to X less than or equals to 15. You have a choice. You can break down this item here into a into simple number that you understand. You know, you have said, you know, the counting you start from 4 and she went at 15. I can say 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. These are the numbers in this set. Now the question says we find. Now let's start from here. This is the, these are the elements we have in this set. How many are here? Let's know about the other set. How many are here? How many are here? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have four. Now, they now give us what to determine. Find the problem that it is a multiple. Now, let's go. It says something. Multiple of three. Let's count multiples of three in this value. Let's have, we have multiple of three, we have six, nine, 12 and 15. We have to circle the multiple of three. What about multiple of four? One, two, three already. Do you have anyone? No, okay. Now, how many are here together that we have some? Because the thing was talking about the probability of the multiple of four, multiple. Multiple of three. Or oh, multiple of four. Yeah. 
So let's count, you know, that this number, that this, the answer will be number of multiple. Number of multiple of three or four. Over. Over. Total. How many did we circle? How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. We circle six, right? We circle that many? Yes. Over. How many are these? Two of So the answer is six over twelve or one over two or one. Over two. So that is the answer. And with this, we finish the practice question.